Okay, so now I want to demonstrate the goal seek function of Excel, which can be used to set a target, okay? Uh, and to set that target equal to a certain value by changing another cell. And in this demonstration, I want to use a very simple problem in finance, where sometimes we go to a bank and we want to borrow some money. Let's say I want to borrow 100,000 and the bank gives me uh, this loan with a certain interest rate. And now let's assume that this interest rate is 1.5% per month. And this interest rate also comes with a term, like I have to pay this back with 12 months, in 12 months time. And so the question is, how much money do I have to pay back in each month? And you guys will have some courses in the future, uh, in next year maybe, and you have some formulas for calculating these. Now, Excel also has a formula. Now it's very simple, we might not know it, but it's called PMT, periodic payments, okay? Now, it takes the rate, it takes number of periods, it takes the present value, and it also takes in two other parameters, the future value, what kind of value I want to have when the 12 month term is finished, the default is zero, and there's a type of payment beginning of the month or end of the month. Basically, the most common is to make the first payment after the first month expires. So if you make the payment beginning of the month, basically it's like taking an amount less than 100,000 PL. So I'm leaving those two parameters off for the time being. And it calculates me and this minus simply means that this minus uh, and it's doing this calculation with TL and the red means it's a minus. So I have to do this payment and it's also calculating this payment that I have to make. Now in real life, if you go to a bank and ask for what payment you have to make for a 12 month credit with 1.5 monthly rate. And now they're gonna tell you something a little bit higher because basically there are certain fees. So I want to now use, now let's say I didn't know that, this function at all. I have no idea about this and I don't know the formulas for doing that. And I want to use this what if analysis. Okay, and basically it tries some values and it tries to solve the problem that I'm after. But I have to set the cells, I have to set the scenario. And the scenario I'll set is basically, I have to make payments for 12 months. Okay, now I start with a beginning quantity, 100,000. So the scenario I need to work is that if I got this money and I invested it, with the same rate. So now I'm going to multiply it by one plus the rate and I will do this fixed. Okay. And I get this uh, quantity at the end of the first month, but then I need to subtract my payment. So I'll put my payment right here. Okay. And I also will fix that. So let's say I, initially start with a payment of 5,000 TL, okay? So at the end of the first month, I have now 96,500. The next month, what, I, what is going to happen is this money is going to be multiplied by one plus the interest rate and minus the amount I promised to pay the bank. So now if I take it all the way to the 12th month, so I don't know anything about finance, but I know that this equation, the amount of money I have at the end should be zero, okay? So what I will do now is to demonstrate goal seek and you can do goal seek with anything else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna invoke from what if the goal seek. So I'm gonna set this target cell, which is, E18, 
you can set one cell as a target by changing another cell, which is my monthly payment, okay, to a value of zero. And that monthly payment will be calculated now. So this changing, uh, by changing cell, you notice it's not cells, so you can only change one cell. There's a more advanced feature under solver, under the solver, which is seen here as çözücü, it's solver, uh, it's another add-in. And in uh, using that, you can also, uh, you can also uh, uh, choose more cells to change, but the target must be one. So when I do okay, so, and it found the solution, maybe it won't find the solution, but the solution it found is the same as the solution that uh, the formula, PMT formula, actually gave us. Okay, so 9,168. Okay, 